everyone! Today's video is something that has been really, really requested, and it is all about sunscreen. My Instagram DMs especially have been filled with questions about what's the best sunscreen to use. And honestly, there really isn't just one answer because everybody's kind of looking for something different. So what I did is I created a list of different sunscreen categories, the ones that I noticed were popping up the most and other ones that I think are just helpful. Then I thought about the products that I have really loved. And this also includes some of Eileen's recommendations as well because we are both very serious about sunscreen and I think that incorporating some of Eileen's favorite products will be helpful. Eileen has a very different skin type from me. She has fair skin. It can also be sensitive as well. So I thought that it would be helpful to include some of her recommendations because she has definitely helped me in my knowledge of the sunscreen world as well. Before I get into the actual products, I just want to quickly go over the difference between between physical and chemical sunscreens. This is something that you're probably gonna hear me say a lot throughout the video, and I just want you to have a general understanding of what they are and how they're different. Physical sunscreens are made from minerals like zinc oxide and titanium oxide, and physical sunscreens are reflectors, so they reflect the UV rays. The downside for a lot of people with physical sunscreens is the white cast that is often left behind. Whether it's a white cast that you can see in person Person or a white cast that you see in photos. Chemical sunscreens are made from ingredients like this. I cannot pronounce these to save my life, so here they are for you on the screen. <laughs> chemical sunscreens have a chemical reaction with UV rays. The UV rays are absorbed and they're turned into heat. So they're no longer harmful to your skin, but this can cause your skin to heat up a little bit. Now the downside of chemical sunscreens is that a lot of people can have sensitivity to them, especially if you have dryness on your face or you have any kind of breakouts, you may notice a slight stinging sensation. There's also different kind of protection available and I'm just gonna put those on the screen so you guys can pause if you want and read more about them. Gel sunscreens are something that are definitely becoming more and more popular, and my favorite gel sunscreen is by Make Prem. This is the Defense Me Blu-ray Sun Gel. And technically, I would consider this a lotion when it first comes out, but then it goes completely clear, and I'll show you right now. So you can see that it went on completely clear after I rubbed it in. It's just when you first pump it out, it's like a light lotion. But you guys have seen me talk a lot about the Make Prem Capsule Sun Gel. It looks exactly the same, except it has an orange cap. That is a true gel. So it's clear when you pump it out, and it's clear when you put it on your face. Both of these have SPF 50, and they are both chemical sunscreens. But I think both of these are great options. I would say this one is a little bit more hydrating and the other one is definitely a lot lighter. I would definitely recommend these over the Glossier sunscreen for sure. My favorite physical chemical mix is the Tatcha Pore Perfecting Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 35. So I love this as like an everyday sunscreen. This is something that you can use as a primer. It disappears completely into the skin and it's because of that physical chemical mix. So it comes out white, but when you rub it in, it disappears, so there's nothing left behind. This does not feel heavy on the skin, but I will say it feels a little bit heavier than the Make Prem sunscreens. But I think that this is a great option for everyday protection, plus it smells really nice, the consistency is just really lovely, and it's something that you can use all year round. I just wanna mention that all of the sunscreens that I'm talking about that I have used, I have not experienced breakouts from them, because that is a huge question when it comes to sunscreens. I know I have experienced breakouts with various sunscreens and none of these that I am mentioning that I've used have broken me out. 
My favorite waterproof sunscreen is by Shiseido. It is the Shiseido Ultimate Protection Wet Force Lotion SPF 50. So I don't have this with me because I left it in New York, but this is a sunscreen that I used recently when I was in Florida. And I love this because it will stay on when you're in the water, if you're sweating, and I love that it's easy to travel with and I can use this on my face and my body and I don't have to worry about any breakout. When I'm traveling especially, if I can cut down on extra products, I will. And this allows me to have a face sunscreen and a body sunscreen all in one. And this is a chemical sunscreen, but what I've noticed with it is that there is a white cast that can be left behind. But honestly, when it comes to white cast, that is something that doesn't really bother me because I just wanna be protected and usually the white cast just kind of fades away on its own. It might take a second. I would just rather be protected than be worrying about, oh my gosh, I have like white cast on my arms or like my face. It just, it eventually goes away and the protection is the number one thing for me. And if the sunscreen isn't breaking me out and I can use it in various ways, then a little bit of white cast is okay with me. For something that you can use over makeup, I really like the Tarte Tarte Guard Mineral Powder Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So this is titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. This is something that I have on my face today. I used it as a setting powder, but I do have sunscreen on underneath. This is not something that I would suggest using as your only source of sunscreen on a daily basis. It's a great supplement to something that you're already Already using underneath. It's great for touch-ups throughout the day and getting a little bit of extra protection. And it's also great for those days when you forget sunscreen, which definitely happen to both myself and Eileen. And we're always just like, what can we use? Cause we already have our makeup on and we don't want to like wash it off to have to put sunscreen on. So this is great for those kinds of emergencies. This packaging reminds me of the first bronzer I ever bought when I was in high school. It was from Lancome and it has this built-in brush and then a little click button at the top so the powder gets pushed out through the brush. The brush also has this cover that slides up so you can easily put the cap on, which I definitely appreciate so that way you don't ruin the brush. And the powder itself has a really light scent to it. It almost kind of smells like a light vanilla scent, but when it's on my face, I really don't smell it at all. The color of the powder is beige, but when you put it on your skin, it just completely disappears. This powder is really, really sheer, so I think that most skin tones could use this and you wouldn't be able to see the powder on your face. But I will say that sunscreen products that have tint in them could definitely have some more shades because they're usually catering towards light, maybe medium skin tones. And I think it's really important, but also it would be extremely helpful for brands to include darker skin tones in their tints because even though these tints often disappear, what people with darker skin tones struggle with with sunscreen is some kind of coloring left behind, whether it's a white color or a light beige color and giving people with darker skin tones the option to wear physical sunscreens that are usually white with a tint in them that are darker so then that way it can blend into their skin would be, I mean, it just is kind of like a no brainer to me. So hopefully, brands take note of that and start doing that more. Eileen's recommendation for something to use over makeup is the Super Goop Defense Refresh Setting Mist Broad Spectrum SPF 50. And this is water and sweat resistant. She has this in travel size as well, which she really likes because she can refill it. She says that it smells like sunscreen, but she likes it as like an emergency case scenario where it's like, oh crap, I forgot my sunscreen. I need to put something on. It just makes it super easy to use. She also said that the mist is not the best, but it's not terrible either. 
I think the best physical sunscreen for your face is the Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense. And this is broad spectrum SPF 30 and is 20% zinc oxide. So I actually have this on my face today. I'm not wearing any foundation. This is tinted, so I'll squeeze a little bit out so you can see it but it really doesn't provide, um, I would say the coverage is similar to or lighter than Glossier Skin Tint. So you can just see that it blends in really nicely. There's not a white cast that's left behind. The downside to this is that there is sparkle in it. It's something that you will definitely notice yourself. I don't know if other people will notice because you kind of have to be really close to see it. It's not my favorite thing because it does look like actual sparkle and I would like it better if it had more of an iridescence instead of like glittery pieces but the sunscreen itself really works I love the consistency and how it blends into my skin I will say if you're wearing makeup over the top of it if you're using like a lot of powder products it can like clump up a little bit so I would stick to either less makeup no makeup or use things that are more of like a creamy consistency or just don't use a ton of powder products that is definitely something I've noticed with makeup, but it provides really great protection. And like I was just saying with tinted products, if they made this in a lighter tint and a darker tint, because it's so sheer, I think that they would be able to cover even more people. I know that they make an untinted sunscreen, but that one is white and I don't have an experience with it. So if anyone has had an experience with that, please leave your comments down below because I am kind of curious about how that one is. My favorite spray sunscreen, which I don't have with me right now, but I was using it in Tulum and I really liked it, especially for touch-ups throughout the day, is the Kula SPF 30 unscented spray sunscreen. I really love it. It feels cool when you put it on your skin. It's super easy to use. And I love that it doesn't have a crazy scent because sometimes spray sunscreens can just be really overwhelming especially when you're spraying them outside and the wind just like blows it into your face and your nose. It can just be a lot. So I really appreciate how the Kula one is just almost unnoticeable. Another product that I don't have with me because I'm pretty sure I lost it when I went to the beach and I remember having it in my beach bag and then now I don't know where it is, but I really, really love it, is the Fresh Sport Sunscreen. And this is amazing for your lips because oftentimes we forget to protect our lips in the sun. And if you have had a lip sunburn, then you know how absolutely miserable it is. It is so incredibly painful. Your lips dry out and it takes a while for them to heal. So the Fresh Sport Sunscreen is great because you can use it on your lips, but also if you're in a pinch, you can use this on your face as well. And I love having that option. So it's like a little balm in a stick and you can apply it directly from the stick or put a little bit on your fingers and then put it on your face or your lips. And it just works really, really well. For best drugstore sunscreen, Eileen recommends the V Sunscreen Face Lotion SPF 50. This is water resistant and it has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide with ceramides and niacinamide as well. I have never used this, but I'm actually going to start using this and just see how I like it. I've also seen um, people recommend this to me, so I'm excited to try it out. You will notice that there is like a slight white cast when you put it on, but this is something that fades when you rub it in and just kind of over time, usually the white cast goes away. The scent is really nice because it honestly doesn't really smell like anything. So there is no crazy sunscreen smell and it is oil free. So this sounds like a really amazing option for a face sunscreen at the drugstore. I'll keep you updated on this when I start using it regularly. I really like the Beach Defense line from Neutrogena. This one is SPF 70 and there definitely is varying opinion when it comes to SPF numbers. Some reports say that 
anything over 50 doesn't really protect you more than SPF 50. Some people um, say 80, so I don't actually know what is true because there's conflicting information out there. But this beach sunscreen comes in different SPFs, so you can get whatever you prefer. I have used this beach defense so much that the smell just reminds me of being at the beach and having sand on me and like sand in my sunscreen when I'm like trying to put sunscreen on at the beach. It's really funny how scents will do that. To me, this scent is really fresh, but it has kind of like a fruitiness to it as well, like a slight sweetness. Um, but it's a chemical sunscreen. It starts off white and then completely blends into your skin. My favorite tinted sunscreen is something that you guys have seen me talk about before. This is the Aven Tinted Mineral Fluid. It is SPF 50 and this is water resistant and it also is a physical sunscreen. So this is amazing. I love this stuff. I don't think you can get it in store in the States. I got this when I was in France and Carrie and I love this stuff. This is a tinted sunscreen that not only protects your skin, but it actually provides coverage as well. So it's kind of like makeup too, but it's not a tinted moisturizer, it's a tinted sunscreen. So this is what it looks like on my hand and they only make one um, tint shade that I'm aware of and it happens to work for my skin color, but I really think that they should have more. And you can see that it blends in really nicely on my hand. When I put this on my face, I just love the coverage. And I have worn this outside doing physical activity and it just feels good on the skin. It can feel a little bit like you have a face oil on at first, but I actually really love that. And I love the glow that you get from it. But if you're someone who doesn't want that, then you would want to set this with some kind of powder or just avoid it altogether. But I do think that this is a really great option for a tinted sunscreen. It's just an amazing product. And if you're going on a trip or vacation and you don't want to worry about packing tinted moisturizer and foundation, this is such a great option because you can get coverage and protection all in one. Last but not least, for people who are looking for a sunscreen with no synthetic ingredients at all, I would definitely recommend the Herba Viva SPF 30 sunscreen. This is 20% zinc oxide, and if you want, you can pull up their ingredients online. You can see that their ingredient list is super short and they don't have any kind of synthetic ingredients in it. This is an option that is completely natural. This is actually the old packaging. When you go on the website, you can see what the new packaging looks like. And on my skin, this is what it looks like. It's a white cream. It is like a little bit of that white cast at first. And then as you rub it in and it absorbs a little bit more, it goes away. I used this when I was in Mexico last year and it worked really well. The one downside to this is that it isn't water resistant. So if you are doing vigorous physical activity or you're swimming, then you would want to make sure that you're using something else. So I am thoroughly covered in sunscreen. My hands are very protected <laughs> right now. And that is going to be it for my sunscreen video today. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. If you see someone with a question that you feel like you can help because you have experience with whatever it is they're asking about, definitely feel free to jump in. Sunscreen is something that can feel really overwhelming at first because there are so many different kinds. It can be scary for people because they're afraid of breaking out because of bad experiences in the past. And so if we can all help each other here, that would be awesome. And speaking of help, Eileen needs your help. And I couldn't give her a recommendation because I've never used something like this, but I could, I could actually benefit from this. 
because it happens to me too, some kind of sun protection for your head that's not a hat, like something that you can apply to your head that provides UV protection. Is there like some kind of spray or powder or like serum drops that you can put in your hair? Let us know because we are both people that experience sunburn on our head. And if you have experienced that yourself, then you know that it sucks. It's not fun. <laughs> also, this is something that I just want to say because I don't think it's said enough. We should be wearing sunscreen not only in the summer and on sunny days, but every day of the year. And that is because UV rays are really harmful to us. They can cause skin cancer. And that can affect anyone and everyone, no matter what your skin type or skin color. And often the messaging that we're hearing is wear sunscreen because it's gonna prevent aging. And that is just messaging that I don't wanna participate in. But that is a whole other video. But I really just wanted to say that explicitly in this video about sunscreen, it is important to wear because the sun can damage your skin in ways that are really serious. We have such a wide range of sun protection products available to us now that we can all find something that works for us. I really hope that this video has given you a little bit more comfort and knowledge when navigating the sunscreen world, and hopefully it allows you to find the best sunscreen that's gonna work for you. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today. I will see you guys later. Bye. Ha ha ha.